Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Laura Bain. So let's be honest, you saw a thing about my store and you just really wanted to come play with Lego. Exactly. <laughs> I'm with Build-A-Block retail and party store owner Troy Keats and we're building race cars out of Lego. You basically have your starting, uh, this is what you would call a chassis, I guess, uh, for cars. Um, you, from here, it's really your own creation. I mean, really, you can put anything on it. Build-A-Block is a Lego reseller and it's the only store of its kind in the Maritimes. So when you first walk in my store, you're welcomed with a huge uh, Lego display. There's about 500 sets on display at any particular time in the store. All around the walls are shelves full of Lego. Customers can buy, sell and trade used Lego. Everything that's on display is for sale. There's also a play area, like an admission play area for $5. You can play all day. Troy got the idea for the store from his sister. At the time, he was off work due to anxiety. I was working a lot of hours and I was working away from home a lot uh, on lots of flights and I'm not a good flyer. When I found out I was going to be a father, everything kind of came to a head and created this generalized anxiety wherein like, I had uh, pains in my chest 24-7. Opening the store changed everything. My anxiety is actually significantly better. Um, I'm actually completely off medication now, which is a big step, I guess, for that. My life has definitely improved over the last couple of years. Hi, Troy. Uh -huh. What have you got today? Well, I got a couple different things here. Uh, what I was thinking to start out today, um, I have this lighthouse set for you if you want to give that a go and build that for me. Okay. You don't set up 500 plus Lego sets alone. Troy relies on volunteers like Richard Benson. It's really given me something to do after I retired and my wife passed away. He's a pretty loyal volunteer. He comes in just about every day, at least for a couple hours. It's given me a, a bit of purpose, uh, something to look forward to. I've had a little bit of depression all of my life. I find that I, I can get kind of lost doing this. Uh, Feel great about the world and all its problems, and I, find, I think it's very uh, good for people that have depression. I just wish I had gotten into it years ago. <laughs> Troy agrees with Richard and thinks building Lego can be therapeutic. Building it, whether it's a set, um, concentrating on something, it gives you that sense of escape. It gives you that like mindset that just for these moments, you're not really thinking about anything else in the world. You're just sitting there building Lego. So uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it's good for all kinds of stress relief. Our race cars are finished. Mine could have used more time and skill. Okay, my car basically just looks like a random bunch of blocks piled on top of some wheels. Um, but your looks, yours looks really cool. It's red, so it's gonna go fast. Yeah. Um, what, and you've got like a big spoiler on the back. Of course. Good stability for that aerodynamics, you know? <laughs> I, I don't have high hopes for my, for my block vehicle, but I think we should try to race them. It doesn't have to be pretty to win. Another store feature is a racetrack with an electronic scoreboard. Three, two, two one, one, go. go. Oh, oh, you're just pulling out ahead. Wow, that was close. <laughs> it was very, very close. I may not have won the race, but I did have fun. If you're in the area or are interested in Troy's online store, check out his website at buildablockretailandparties.com.